In the beginning, there was a chief in the Skyland. Brr, it's brittle and cold. I'm going to cut a hole in the sky to escape this brittleness. Poof. Look at this great hole I've created. I will now throw some snow down to create a mountain. Oh. I will now go into the land to see what I've created. I love this new land I've created. I will now sprout some turtles who can walk, who can talk and walk on two feet. They're the largest animals on earth. Poof. He threw his staff into the great waters of the land. <laughs> pieces of his staff that flew into the waters became different animals. The large pieces became beavers, and the smaller pieces became various other animals. The great sky god then took his family down on the mountain so they could live with him. Ah. All this debris is coming from the top of the mountain. Daughter, go tell the wind spirit to stop blowing so hard. But don't stick your head up too high or the wind spirit will catch your long hair and throw you off the mountain. But Dad, I, like, want to see the ocean. She then proceeded to climb up the mountain. The ocean! It is so windy up here, just like Father said. The ocean is so beautiful. I hope I don't get blown away. By my long hair. to Lodge, check it out. Okay. Let's drive back to camp. She not alive, I don't think. <laughs> the young Sky Woman then grew up to marry one of the turtle's sons. We are now gathered here to witness the precious thing we call marriage. Marriage is made of love. Love is not a triangle, a rectangle, an octagon, a decagon, or a dodecagon. <laughs> it is a circle. <laughs> a big circle of love. We have Mr. Turtle <laughs> and Mrs. Cowboy. They're so precious in each other's vibes with the circle of what we talk about over here. Mr. Toto, do you accept Mrs. Skywoman? I do. Mrs. Skywoman, do you accept Mrs. Toto in sickness, in death, in hell, in everything loved and cherished in marriage? When a shoe don't fit, you're gonna tie a shoe for him. When, when you want to go play football, you're gonna let him go play football. When you want to buy new shoes, but he needs <laughs> a desperate appointment to get some new ointment, you can let him go buy some ointment with that money for the shoes. Will you? Sure. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I now pronounce these two young, precious people, Turtle and Skywoman, to love together in a circle. You may now high-five the bride. Yeah. In the many years to come, the Turtle and the Skywoman had many children. Mama! Turn it up, Mama. Turn it, Mama. In the years to come, these new creatures were later known as Native American Indians. In later years, 
the mother bear started to regret keeping the young sky woman away from the sky chief. Captain. And she felt the need to seek forgiveness. So she sent one of her oldest grandsons up to the sky chief. Grandson, get over here! Grandson! Grandson, get over here! I want you to go to the top of the mountain, and I want you to tell the sky chief we took his children. Okay. Hey, we found your daughter down the mountain a few years ago, and we want we want to give her back to you. So follow me down the mountain. Let's go get her. All right, let's go. Where's my daughter? She she's right here. Don't worry. We we were just being nice. We took her in. What are these strange creatures? Father, these are my children. This is not a race I have made. I'm her mother. Cursing you. You will now walk on four feet and no longer talk. <laughs> the Sky Chiefs then took his daughter back to the mountain. This was our reenactment uh, of the great myth. The no, when Grizzlies walked upright. Thank you for watching.